Hello guys, welcome back to the playroom. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and I'm back at you guys with a little bit of a different doll video. This is going to be more on the figures side of things. So these are going to be Fashion bodies, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or TB League bodies as they're now known. So these TB League bodies are amazing, you guys. I've been looking at them for a while. I just got four in. I got two guys, two male bodies, two head sculpts, and then I also got two female bodies that already came with the head sculpts. So we're going to unbox these and take a look at them. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get on with the show. Hello doll friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am going to be showing you guys the four TB League bodies that I got in this week. Um, I have already taken two of the males out. I got two boys, two girls. Two of the males I've already taken out. I've already customized one and turned him into Superman. I will be showing you guys him. The other male body, I've put some clothes on him because he's naked and they do come with genitalia, which is kind of awesome. It's great for drawing if you want to have a model to draw, um, to practice on that and things of that nature. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and look at the guys first, I guess, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the girls. Now, these are fashion bodies or now as they're now known as TB League bodies. Um, these are have 28 points of articulation. They're a seamless body. They're made of silicone with a metal ball jointed skeleton inside or armature. Um, so they can move in all kinds of directions because the body, the outer layer is silicone. They're super soft, very flexible. They're kind of amazing. And they're the one six scale. So they're about 12, 12 and a half inches tall. So anyway, guys, we are going to be taking a look at my first custom male body, which is going to be from this box. And he is the M33, and you can see it right there. M33 is the model of this body. So let me set these boxes aside, and let me bring in my custom Superman doll, which I love, or figure, doll figure, however you want to call it. Um, so I am completely in love with this body. I'm in love with this head sculpt. So this is the Henry Cavill head sculpt um, as Superman. And he is so beautiful, you guys. This is a third party sculpt. Um, and this is not a Hot Toys release. And this is the third party sculpt 3.0. In case any of you are interested. I think he is just such a beautiful sculpt. I'll give you guys a really good close-up of Henry Cavill. He is just perfectly, perfectly done. I love the 3.0 sculpt. I did also get the 2.0 version that was released by Hot Toys. And I'll show you guys that momentarily that I put on the other body. But I really, really like the 3.0 version. I just think they did such a good job painting to perfection sculpting is wonderful. The body itself is great. He doesn't really even need the stand. I just kind of gave him one, but he stands wonderfully and you can adjust those feet and there he goes. I kind of have my, <laughs> the camera tilted to where you can't really see him, but I'll fix that later. But again, 12 points of articulation. So he moves at the arms, he bends at the wrist. They have interchangeable hands. So the only seams that you're gonna see are gonna be where the hands are and the feet, and the feet are covered by the boots. I was barely able to get these boots on. They had a slit in the back, um, and thank gosh they did, but his the heels of his feet kind of stick out of the back of the boot. Thank goodness they already had a slit back there. Now this outfit I actually got off of the Dawn of Justice Superman doll that was released by Barbie when Dawn of Justice came out. And that doll is this doll right here. Now this is of course the made to move body. He is very similar in structure and size to the fashion body of the TB League body, which was great because I was able to get the Superman outfit on my new fashion body but um it was a really really difficult task it took me about an hour and a half to pull this tight outfit over the silicone body <laughs> i will say it was a lot of work but i love him now i just think he is just so perfect um the head turns in any direction you can look all the way down you can look all the way up 
Um, great, great mobility in the neck region. I just, I love these bodies so much. Um, he has perfect shoulder movement. So we can move that shoulder out. We can bend at the elbow. We can bend the wrists. Um, and I gave him the fish just because, you know, he's Superman. I felt like he needed that. Um, he can also move at the torso so that you can bend them back. You can bend forward. And you can feel that metal ball jointed skeleton in there, which is amazing. Um, he can twist and turn and do all of that. Um, and then of course the legs are kind of amazing. They can go out. They can go all the way out like you're doing the splits, which this outfit is really tight on him. So I can't do what I really want to show you with him because the outfit is, it, it's a little tight. <laughs> but I'll show you with the other male body. It's very similar to this one. Um, the other male body is an M32. This is the M33. This body is a little bit shorter than the M32, uh, but it has these little ankle extenders. And I'll show you in the back if I can. But as you can see here, this is where the silicone starts. The end of the silicone is there. This is the ankle extender or the leg extender. And then there's his foot that attaches to that. So this actually made him the same size as the M32 body, which we will take a look at in just a second. But here is my custom Henry Cavill. I love him so much. I'm so happy that this Superman outfit fit him because I really do like this outfit. I am so happy to have this head sculpt. <laughs> He's just really, really, really beautiful, guys. So there is one last look at Henry Cavill 3.0 as Superman. And now we will move on, guys, to our next male body. Okay, guys, so here is the box for our M32 male body. Give you guys a close-up of that. B. Fashion M32 made by TB League. So let's go ahead and open this box up and take this body out. I've already taken him out. I've already put his boxer shorts on. So he does have a little bit of clothing. Okay, doll friends. And there will be some doll nudity or doll private parts. So there is a warning that I want to put up for those who do not want to see male genitalia. Um, please look away or, or fast forward if you would rather not see that because it does come with very realistic male genitalia. So this is going to be our male body, the M33. I love this body, maybe even as much or more than the M33 body. So the M32 has a little bit more of a narrower waistline. Um, he is taller than the M33, even though you can add the extenders. To make him tall now he also came with these shorts which i've already put on him um he did not come with the wrist or the ankle covers those actually came with the m33 my superman doll but i didn't need those for him because you know he's superman and he's already got an outfit but this is the m32 body these bodies stand amazingly well you just set them up and they stand he poses in all different kinds of directions. So this gives you a better look at him so they can move at the arms. They can move at their elbows all the way. They are double jointed. So there is that. They can move at the hands or the wrists rather, of course, all the way around, whatever you wanna do that. Um, they have a torso joint here. So, and it's a lower torso joint so they can bend back they can bend forward, they can twist, you can twist that body. Um, and they are so soft. I love the silicone feel. I love the feel of these bodies so much. The neck moves all the way around. So this is the head peg that I've already put onto the body. And this is kind of, if I can show you guys that, there is, the body doesn't really come with this. I had to add this, but there is a metal part that comes out of the neck with the ball attached to that. You have to forcefully push this on, and then that way you're allowed to put on a head, which is gonna be this one, which is the other Henry Cavill head sculpt. And this is the head sculpt 2.0. I think he's really cute. I like the other one better. But what you're gonna do, you're just gonna slide him right onto that net peg and push down. Now, it goes all the way down, <laughs> and he has no neck this way. But if you kind of pull it up a little bit, um, you can make it look however you want. And then what I plan on doing is just putting some putty in his inside of his head and packing it until I can get the right distance so it doesn't slip up and down. But it's on there pretty well. I mean, 
it's not really going to go anywhere once you get it where you want it to go. Now the legs are wonderful. They go all the way out. So we can do this. He can do the splits all the way. It's just kind of amazing. Um, he can also bend the legs forward all the way. He can actually bend these legs all the way up. <laughs> because that is some amazing visibility. Um, he can bend the knees, of course, and he is double jointed, so he can bend the knees all the way back. Really, really cool. And then he can also bend his legs all the way back like that, which I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but he is capable of doing it. So they are 28 points of articulation, which is quite a bit. Um, I did put the shorts on him. He does have some male genitalia that I've already attached to him. And, um, yeah, I kind of want to show you guys, but I'm a little afraid of getting censored. So I don't know how much I should show, but I'm going to give you guys a peek anyway for those of you that are curious. So there you have it. And here again is the M32 body, <laughs> Henry Cavill 2.0. So we're going to just stand him up for a second and I'm going to show you guys what all they come with or some of them come with. So he also came with another pair of hands and these are the fist hands like the ones that I have on Superman. So I got those with him. And then he also came with three pairs of genitalia. One of which I've already attached to him and you've seen a peek of that one already. And the other two I'm about to show you now for those of you who are interested. But warning, they're very realistic. And here they are. And so we also have these two. One is waking up and one is fully asleep. So that's just what we're going to say with that. So those are the genitalia there for those who are interested. And we're going to set him aside. And now we are going to open up the girls. Okay, doll friends, here is our next box. And this is going to be one of our female sculpts. Now she, if I remember correctly, is... S34. So she actually comes with a head sculpt and if I remember correctly she also comes with a bikini. And I think the bikini is a silicone bikini so hopefully it'll be fairly easy to get her on. Hopefully a lot easier than that Superman outfit was. <laughs> I hope anyway. Um, but let's go ahead and take her out and she will be nude. So again warning doll nudity. I'm not going to censor any of this but want people that are interested in these dolls to be able to see the full effect. So this is going to be her and she does come with the silicone bikini. So this is the blue and white and she does have blonde hair. I love her face sculpt. I can already kind of see it through the bubble wrap and let's go ahead and take her out. I'm going to take off our top cover first and then here is her bikini which we will put on her as well today and have her all dressed up and it's kind of cool. I really like the feel of the, um, the silicone bikini thing. And then we also have another cover that's over her again that kind of keeps all of these little extra parts in place. So let's go ahead and take that off. And now we have our beautiful doll, our one six scale doll. Now she's more of like what I would call a teenager type body. Um, I think she's more of like an, an 18 year old Let's take off her bubble wrap from her head. I like the fact, too, that she came actually with a stand. Here is a look at her beautiful little face. Wow, she is really pretty. You guys, she is really pretty. So she has blue eyes. She has a nudish pink lip. She has blonde hair. Um, taupe colored eyebrows, it looks like. Really, really, really pretty. It's a very, very pretty model. I really like her. I think she's super, super pretty. She's very squishy. Um, I want to say she's approximately 12 inches. Um, and again, she does everything that the guys do. She bends at the arms so she can bend all the way up. She bends her elbows. Um, and she is more of a seamless body, even more so than the guys. Because, look guys, there are no seams at the ankle. So the feet are not um, interchangeable. You're not able to take the feet off. But there's no seam there. So the whole doll is silicone except for the hands and then the head, of course. You can you can change, interchange the head sculpt. But you can bend that knee all the way back. It's fully double jointed. You can bend the legs out. You can bend them forward. 
You can also bend her. Oh, wow. She has a really, really, really good torso joint. So she can slouch really, really well. She can slouch all the way back. Um, really impressive with that. That's kind of amazing. Wow. That's amazing. And then you can interchange the hands. So she also does come with some other hands. So she comes with a pair of these grippy hands. You could put like a microphone in there or a little cane or anything that you would need to grip. So I like the fact that she comes with the little grippy hands. We might give her a microphone and turn her into a singer. She also comes with some little half closed pointy hands. That is a really interesting hand sculpt. I kind of like that. So I think she could actually even hold something here as well. So we could have her eating, maybe put a little tiny fork in there or a spoon. And let's go ahead and get her doll stand out and take a look at that. So I'm really loving this stand and this is what our stand looks like. Um, it has two options for you, which I really like. So it has the waist option. So you would put that on the stand and then this would fit around the doll's waist or the figure's waist. So I like that option. It also has a saddle option. So it could also be a saddle stand and the doll would just sit right there in that saddle and hold up that way if you didn't want to see that um, part around the waist. So I like that option too. So very nice to have options on the stand. And again, we'll see her all put together on her stand at the end. And this is our last girl of the day. She is going to be the S42 model. Um, I am really excited to see her. Um, now she, I believe, has a large bust and oh, she is pale as well. So darn, I was thinking I got suntan, um, but I got another pale girl. That's fine. I have two suntan guys, so <laughs> I guess it makes up for it. Both of the boys are suntan and we'll see them all together at the end so you can compare those skin tones. Ah, here she is, guys. So we have a red head. Looks like she has more of a mature body. She is also seamless at the feet, which I really like. That is nice. So let's go ahead and get her taken out. So we're gonna take off the cover first. I'm gonna take off the second cover. And now we can get to our doll. We'll take a quick look at these hands. And these are a little bit different from the other hand. So again, this does look like a grip hand. Um, this finger does look like it's up a little bit more. So that's interesting. So we have those. And then we also have the other holding hands, which are definitely good for a microphone. They would be good for a cane. They would be good for anything that you would hold. Maybe even a little wine glass or soda bottle if you had one small enough. I think that would be really cute. So I love these hands. I'm interested to see how I can figure out how to use those. And then here is our doll. So I love the fact that she already has her cute little outfit on, I guess, her swimsuit. Um, I've already ordered a little outfit for one of the girls and I just have to figure out which one I'm gonna put it on. Then here is our beautiful S34 girl. I love the face sculpt. So she has, again, a blue eye. She has sort of a orange color lip. She has auburn red hair, which I love red hair. I have a thing for red hair. I just think it's so pretty. Um, she has the large breasts, so she has the larger breast size. She does have more of a mature type of body, I would say. Again, she is fully posable, so we can move that neck all the way around. We can bend it forward and have her look all the way back. That looks a little unnatural, sorry. <laughs> um, she can move her shoulders all the way up. She can bend those elbows all the way. She is double jointed, so there is that. Move her arm back down. Can move at the wrist. And then we can move the legs all the way out, all the way forward, all the way back. We can bend the knee, double jointed. And then the ankle, of course, is posable, even though there's no joint there. It is articulated, so you can bend the foot up, you can bend the foot down, you can turn the foot left or right. So we love that. 
Um, great posability with her. Well, I'm excited to get a cute outfit on her and just kind of figure out exactly what I'm going to do with her. But I just wanted to show her to you guys. Um, and let me go ahead now and get all of these dolls put together. Get their clothes on, get them on their stands, and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. And here are all of my fashion figures by TB League. I am completely in love with these figures. Um, the girls do need a sand just because they have the flexible silicone feet instead of the hard plastic ones. But I've posed them really cute. I can't wait to get some outfits on and figure out who they're going to be. I'm contemplating on customizing this one into the Phoenix because she has red hair. Um, and I think she would be an amazing Phoenix. And I'll have to still think about this one. Um, this one, I just, I love his body, so he'll just be naked all the time. And then my custom Henry Cavill Superman, which I'm completely in love with. I think he's so handsome. I'm so glad that that outfit fit him. And then this is a head sculpt not to buy. So this is more for Hot Toys. I purchased this head sculpt. These with the longer necks, you would have to completely either modify the fashion body or you would have to cut that neck off and modify this head sculpt to fit on a fashion body. So yeah, this is a no-go unless you want to do a lot of work to modify it. But he is beautiful. I'm sad that he doesn't fit the fashion bodies. But that is what not to buy. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me today for my review and look at the fashion bodies by TB League. I purchased these figures on GiantToy.com. The two males came naked with no head and I purchased the head sculpt separately. You can also find that Henry Cavill 3.0 head sculpt on eBay. I've seen him on eBay for about $33, so not too, too bad. And then this one I think I got on GiantToy.com. And then these two were the bodies that came with the head sculpts. So they are customizable, they're super fun, their amazing posability is out of this world. And I would highly recommend them if you guys just want to have some fun or customize some six scale figures. I think they're really, really cool. So I'll definitely leave the website in the description box below or the link for that if you're interested in purchasing any of these figures. Thank you guys again so much for joining me today. I love you to the moon and back. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Stay safe, be kind, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.